Hello friends, my name is Justice. This is the presentation of my Harvard University CS50 Artificial Intelligence Nights project. In Artificial Intelligence, we know the concept of knowledge. And knowledge has to do with something that is kept in the memory of the agent. So if you give or supply certain information to the Artificial Intelligence agent, it is able to make some decisions based on the information that you've given to it. In Knight's and Knave's puzzle, the following information is given. Each character is either a knight or a knave, and a knight will always tell the truth. If knight says a sentence, then that sentence is true. Conversely, a knave will always lie. If a knave states a sentence, then that sentence is false. The objective of this puzzle is actually the following. Given a set of sentences spoken by each of the characters, which determine for each character whether that character is a knight or a knave. Now, we, in order to make the implementation of this puzzle, we have two Python files, the logic and the puzzle file. Now, the logic file defines logical classes for different types of logical connectives. And then in the puzzle file, we have the implementation of this uh, puzzle. Now, if we have, for example, a knight, this is actually a symbol that represents a is a knight. And a knave is a symbol that represents that a is a knave. Now, we have a lot of knowledge-based uh, information here, such as knowledge 0, knowledge 1, knowledge 2, and so on and so forth. These were the things that we implemented. And based on this information that we've given to the knowledge base, we now have the result. So this, the first set of information that we always give is the information about the structure of the problem that we have. For example, we, have, we, we say here that it says I am both a knight and a knave. So this first set of uh, information that we supplied here is actually about the structure of this pro problem. And then this second path is actually the information about what characters actually said. All right. So what we can do next is actually to see the, uh, based on this information given, can we determine that this A is a knight or a knave and so on and so forth for the, uh, for the puzzle 0, puzzle 1, puzzle 2, and puzzle three that we have here. What are these characters? All right, in order to determine that, we'll go ahead and run this Python file. All right, so this is the result. And from here, we see that for the first puzzle, it's actually determined that puzzle zero, that A is a knave. And then in puzzle 1, we have that A is a knave and B is a knight. In puzzle 2, we have that A is a knave and B is a knight. In puzzle 3, we have that A is a knight, B is a knave, and C is a knight. So this is actually the, how it works. Based on the information that we supplied, the artificial intelligence agent is able to store it and then use it to make decisions and make classifications for the characters that we have, which in this case are A, B, and C. So this is actually how the puzzle works. And thank you so much for your audience. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.